So some of you may wonder why I'm buying all these Europa games, and in fact, I am wondering why I'm buying all these Europa games. But I have a uh, feeling that there's some very good gameplay to be had here, and I bought Case White A because it was uh, a bit of a steal, uh, pretty cheap. It was I think, oh, thanks for barking, dog. It was like ten bucks or something like that. No box though, and it's punched obviously, but everything's here, everything else is here, and it's in really good, pristine condition. And uh, I'm buying. I bought it because I wanted to play it as part of the series, my my uh, goal of t attempting to play all of World War II through uh, each, each theater, each major conflict, and each major battle. And uh, <clears throat> I couldn't really think of a better title than Case White to uh, reflect the uh, 1939 invasion of Poland. Uh, there is a game called Summer Lightning from Lock and Load Publishing, which I will probably play as well. Uh, I'm trying to do so. I wanted to. I wanted to find a title that would do the game, do the game, do the uh, conflict justice. And I think this will probably be it. And it'll also be a nice introduction for me to the Europa system and allow me to play uh, some of the game and uh, and get a feel for it and see whether I want to do. The Fire on the East, Scorched Earth, Urals uh, uh, trilogy there. Hang on one sec. Because what I'd like to do is be able to bring uh, at least one title from each theater and each conflict to the table, and hopefully two titles, and do comparative plays of each you know, each uh, particular theater and each particular um, uh, conflict or major battle or whatever the case may be. And that's why in, uh, just to swing around here, I bought, uh, that's why I picked up Empire of the, of the Sun and Asia Engulfed. And where's Fire in the, and Fire in the Sky as well. I picked those up so that we could uh, have a really uh, robust experience with the Pacific Theatre when we eventually get to that. Uh, so right now we've got uh, the Blitzkrieg legend played, so we've done the 1940 Fall of France and I played that game twice, I don't have a second game to play the Case Yellow scenario that I that I really am that interested in. Uh, we are in the midst of DAC two right now. Uh, we're doing our second playthrough of that game and that will cover the African campaign through 42. So at some point in uh, the you know the next th few months I will get the Case White game done and then pick one or two titles to play through the uh, the Eastern Front um, and I'm only going to play through Operation Barbarossa to start with so that will probably preclude uh, case blue and we will um, focus on uh, fire on the east there I've got to get those two copies squared away well really I've got to just get fire on the east sorted out I don't have to worry about scorched earth yet but once we get to case blue uh, then we've got some interesting opportunities to either play some piecemeal scenarios or set the entire thing up and try and play it solo with the uh, good areas blitzkrieg there and we will uh, that will give us a great feel for, uh, you know, just the enormity of the scale of things. And then by the time we get through, you know, that, it'll be, I guess, the end of 2014 probably. But we'll, we'll then have to start thinking about what we're going to do about Normandy. And I really don't have a lot of good titles uh, for that era. I do have Atlantic Wall somewhere, but that's a bit of a pig. I remember playing that... Uh, in my younger days. All right, um, that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you. I just got that in the house, so I thought I'd share that. I also picked up, so I picked up a copy of the Urals that go with uh, with this thing. These two guys up here. It's literally just uh, three or four maps and some extra rules and a rider and stuff. And uh, we'll carry on from there. Talk to you soon.